Hi everyone, in the previous video we have discussed how you can download Python using Anaconda distribution or python.org. If you are a data science learner, I would recommend you to use Anaconda distribution. It's user friendly, it gives you access to different popular Python IDs and you can create environment in the Anaconda Navigator to manage the version. So we will learn all these things in the coming video. First of all, I would like to show you that if you want to start working in Jupyter. Now often beginners get confused between what are the differences between Jupyter and Spider and PyCharm and Jupyter Lab and there are so many things. So I'll show you these differences one by one. First of all let me show you how a Jupyter notebook looks like and how you can efficiently start working in Jupyter notebook. So uh, this is uh, how the Jupyter notebook looks like when you launch it and uh, basically when you create a Jupyter notebook, what are the advantages of using Jupyter is you can create a beautiful notebook where you have headings, subheadings, text, plots, everything in, along with your code. So it's really a, a beautiful document for demonstration purpose. For example, this is a Jupyter notebook. So you can see this is my heading and I have added some sub subheadings or I have given them bullet points or numbers. And here is the code cell. So this is basically a text cell which is uh, here markdown cell. We call it markdown cell. And this is basically the code cell. You can see it is a code cell. So when you run the code, you get the output. Again, I have used some text cells, some code cells. And in the same file, I can see the code. I can see the output. I can introduce some headings. I can see the plot. It's kind of beautiful and you can use it for yeah, report generation and looking at all those things uh, together. Your code, heading, output, graphs, everything together in one notebook. So if you prefer that, you can start working with Jupyter. If you use a spider or PyCharm, it's completely different. I'll, I'll show you in a, a separate video. So when you decide to start working in Jupyter notebook, you can click on this new tab and you can open up a python 3 notebook or text file or folder also you can create but as of now for coding in python you can create a python 3 notebook and you can start working in that but in this video what we are going to discuss is when you open up the jupyter notebook by default it opens up the c drive folder uh, so it is the startup folder you are you might be seeing here different folders which are there in your system your machine so the good practice is once when you start working with Jupyter Notebook, you set up a startup folder where you want to keep all your Python files. You want to organize that folder because as you will uh, start coding with time, you will have so many Python files, Python notebooks and text files and many other things which are related to some project or some assignment. So you want to keep them in one folder, probably in your D drive. So how you can do that? Uh, I'll show you how you can do that. Go to Anaconda Navigator and click on Console Shortcut Launch. If you click on here, in the uh, latest version of Anaconda, there might be a different name, CMD, um, launch something. So it will basically launch a command line interface like this. So you just uh, need to write some command here and when you can maximize this. Uh, what we are doing is we want to write a command to create a Jupyter Notebook configuration file. And in that configuration file, we will change the configuration, we will change the startup folder. So every time we will open up Jupyter, we will see that startup folder. How to create a Jupyter notebook configuration file is you need to write Jupyter space notebook space dash dash generate dash config. This is the line of code you need to write. I will uh, write this line of code in the description box of the video or I'll share the link where you can file this kind of code and you need to hit enter. I'm not doing it because I already have this file generated in my system. This is the uh, link which I was talking about, Jupyter Notebook official document. And in this uh, document, you can see different codes for config file and command line option. Here also it's written that to create a Jupyter Notebook config file, with the default commented output, you need to use this line of code, the same line of code which we have used. So I'll share this link in this line of code with you in the comment box. Once you do that, you see that a config file is created in your system C drive user username.jupyter folder. 
So it is basic a basically a Python file with all those default settings. We want to edit this file. To edit this file, you can open it with Python obviously. I am using Notepad++ to edit it or otherwise you can go and open with Notepad or any other text editor which you have in your system to edit the file. So let me open the file. Once we open the file, uh, we need to scroll down and find the line for directory. Let me just search Control F the directory. Here is the line. Here. So you see that the directory to use for notebooks and kernel and the code here is commented. So what we need to do is first we need to uncomment this code. You might be knowing to uncomment the code we remove the hash from the beginning. So we have removed the hash. Now this code is uncommented. Now inside this quotation marks we need to provide the path of the folder which we want to set as the startup folder of our Jupyter notebook. So let me take you to a folder. This is the folder in my system D drive learning learn python github and this folder I want to select and make the path of my startup folder. So let me just put the path here. When we paste the path here you see we have backslashes whenever we copy path from our system uh, it has backward slashes and we need to change those to forward slashes to make those working. So you can do it manually or you can use uh, find and replace of your text editor. So we have changed. So basically we have done three changes. First we have uncommented the code. Second we have pasted the path of the folder which we want to make our startup folder. And third we have changes all the backward slashes to the forward slashes. And now we need to save the file. After saving the file, go back to Jupyter Notebook home page. It's still that. If we refresh it, again it's still that. So what we need to do is we need to close it and we need to go back to Anaconda Navigator. Again launch a Jupyter Notebook. Now if we will launch, we see now the folder is changed. These are different folders. And this folder is exactly same as the folders I have here. So git clone, housing, interactive programming, learn python, python basic, some pdf, some notebooks, some pi file, all those things you will be able to see here all those files. These are the folders which I had there and uh, these are the python notebooks and pi file. So uh, whenever you see this extension dot ipynb, this is basically ipython notebook. And when you see this extension, this is .py file, this is a python file which we usually make in uh, spider or pycharm or those, those kind of IDs. So this is um, Jupyter notebook and definitely there are options to rename the file here, to download the file in different format. You can download it in the form of PDF also or you can make a pi file and various other options. So start exploring getting your hands dirty. I hope you will find it useful. Thank you.